all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and library application and in this video we'll be working on adding source functionality over here so first let me give you a demo of what we are going to build so if we search something like here and we are getting the result and if the result do not exist then we are showing no results found also let me show you one interesting thing uh, that if we if we are on the slow internet connection so let's make slow 3g then if we search for something and we see the loading indicator and the text is also muted so how cool is this so we'll be building uh, such features so let's get started okay first of all let's go to list users uh, that play the PSV file list users okay let me remove this and first of all let's add the source um, input over here so to do that let's go to let's go over here and let's another add another div and inside the div let's create that input input type text with the class of let's say form control okay there yep. and let's do justify between justify sorry justify content between okay and let's add the placeholder text call stars okay perfect so now let's go to list uses component class and over here let's add a new public property called source from and by default let's make it is null and then let's go to list uses and over here on this input let's wire model source term okay perfect so now now let me go to render method and let's die and dump this search term and it is currently null and let me all comment it and source here and we are getting that okay perfect so now we need to filter that term okay we need to apply the filter so to do that let's do user and let's fit in the query below instance and on that can do where Let's say this is the name and the email okay where name like like this search term okay so now if I refresh the page and then search for let's say king and it is already working see how cool library is so if we search that do not exist and it is currently empty perfect our search function is already working so let's search for email as well so or where email like the search term okay this search term and if we search for the surrogate and it is working perfect so now uh, let's add message over here uh, if there is no results then we will say no results found so let's do that okay to do that let's go to this to users.blade file and instead of for is let's do for 
else so that we can use empty directory so and for else and we can do for the empty directory and for empty let's display a div and then inside that div we can do a table row or we can directly do table row let's do that first table row and inside the table row let's say table data with the call span of 5 and we'll display the message got no results found okay so if we search for something and if it doesn't exist then we see that no results found message so let's uh, throw this message in the center so let's set the class over here and let's do text center and it is working perfectly fine so let's add one spg icon so that it will look more pretty so uh, currently i'm on this website called andra which provides uh, free spg icons okay so let me open this image in your tab and we will have this url okay so over here no results found and let's add the image as well with the source of that particular image let's add all type as well so now if i refresh the page and it is working but we are not displaying it properly so let me wrap this inside of paragraph and it is working perfectly fine so instead of displaying the text uh, first let's display the image first okay And it is working let's give some margin margin top of two and I think this is looking pretty good so now when the internet connection is low let's pretend that we are on 3g connection so 3g and if we search something like let's say king and we don't see any kind of reactions uh, any kind of loading state right so it seems like it is hang seems like it is not working so let's give user a feedback with loading indicator over here and let's make the text is muted okay first let's make those text is muted so to do that let's me let me go to table row or table body and on loading simply we can do while column loading dot class and we can apply the class called text muted okay so now let's try this again let me say not throttling first the page and then let me do fast 3g and we see that text is muted right let me do it again Users, yeah text are muted so it is giving some kind of feedback so this is also fine but let's add one loading indicator to look it more nicer so to do that let me search for load awesome yes and I found this one okay so we can go to animations and it provides some kind of full animations so let's use this one okay yep and then we will be using this small one so let me do view source and let me copy this so let me go to list uses.blade file and then 
will be adding that loading indicator at the end over here. Right? And we need to add the CSS. So let me copy everything from here and let me go to layouts app blade.psv file and for now let's create the style tag and inside that let me paste everything okay uh, later we will refactor that code as well so now uh, let me close this and refresh the page and we see this loading indicator right but we need to place it properly so let's press that properly so let me go over here and let's add a class with display of flex okay okay it is now properly aligned but let's align this on the center so just if I contain to the center also align items to the center okay but we need to make this uh, inside of this border so to do that let's do let's add a border over here so we can do border yep we added the border but uh, let's set the background as well so bg white okay so we don't need uh, this border on source input because we are placing the border on main div so let's remove the border from that source input okay so to remove the border we can do border zero okay perfect so let's add the margin right or let's add the padding right from this div so let's do padding right of two and it is perfectly aligned now perfect so now we need to show this loading indicators when we are searching for something on slow internet connection currently it is displayed all the time okay so now let's add conditional over here to show that loading indicator only when we are sourcing and if we are on slow internet connection so let's add wire loading and it is not working right so we need to wrap this inside main div and let's do that and apply the wire loading there this to the here we need to do here right and it is working perfect so now let me inspect it and let's do slow 3z and let's search for something right it is loading and if the result is displayed and it is removed perfect so here is one uh, small issue so let's fix that as well so if I click on edit icon and we see this loading indicator right we don't uh, need to make this happen okay so if I click on delete as well we see that loading indicator so to fix this we need to use wire target to target specific changes so we need to target the model for search term right so let me refresh the page so now if I do not vertically and refresh the page and let's do slow freezy and if I click or delete and we don't see this loading indicator right perfect but if we search for something right and we see that loading indicator and if it is found or not found it will get removed see how cool life is so now let's refactor this code okay so now let's extract this source input as component okay so that we can use on appointments as well so let me close this or else we can use over here as well right 
so currently we on app.blade.php file we are placing every uh, css logic over here so first of all let me copy everything from here or before copying that let's make a component first and we give it a name for the component let's say search input plate PSP okay. so let me copy let's say this one right okay let me remove from here and paste on this component So now if I refresh the page and it is gone. So let's do let's do X and the component name is source input right now we are using the component syntax. So if I refresh the page and it is everything is working right before moving further here I see one issue. So if I type something if I type something and uh, it is loading the data very fast and here we see that loading and decorative flickering right so we don't need to make this happen uh, we need to show that on slow connection so we need to use delay modifier so while loading the delay and it will only swap if it that loading states take uh, longer than 200 milliseconds right so now it will not get displayed because because those data are loading too fast but we if we are in slow connections uh, then let's make slow 3g then only it will get displayed perfect so may move this and let's go to list users yep and we can now we can copy the everything from here and let's add a stack for styles right and let me go to the component source input and we can post the that stack okay now if we refresh the page and everything is working perfectly fine right so now let me go to source input component and let's make this dynamic as well right so instead of adding wire model over here let me remove this and use attributes and let's use that wire model attribute on our component over here just to let me copy and paste it okay so that we can make now we can use this with different name as well and everything is working right i think you like this video so this must for this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you in the next video